Hi guys, just gonna do a quick unboxing of two um, popular items uh, right now um, for uh, PC builds. One is the uh, Samsung VNAND SSD 950 Pro, the M.2 NVM Express. Um, I bought the 512 gig edition so I can install my operating system as well as some games um, onto it so uh, hopefully it loads uh, much faster than um, what I had before which was a um, SATA SSD, the um, Samsung uh, 830 EVO. I know it's a few years old so this one's supposed to be running a lot a lot faster based on the um, the M.2 um, connection and of course we'll also unbox the um, Intercore i7-6850 um, it's a new LG 2011 uh, V3 um, connection Broadwell Ni um, release. Uh, it's it's basically their new release um, to refresh their Broadwell um, offerings um, for enthusiast enthusiast level um, gaming and users. So let's let's get started. Let's unbox this first. So of course it have the Intel security tape on it. And it's advertising conflict free, which I think it's it's basically saying they're not using a um, any materials that supports terrorist groups in Republic of Congo and things like that. So there is your i7 processor installation instructions. Of course, your i7 um, sticker. I love those stickers. It looks really cool. However, I never actually take them off. Uh, the instruction manual. So the 6850 is actually the 3.6 gigahertz uh, version with 15 um, megabytes of uh, cache. And of course the LJ2011 V3. Um, it's It have a unlocked um, core. So if you have a fairly powerful uh, coding system and a motherboard with stable power power face um, you should be able to overclock it a little bit and keep it cool so right over here there's the processor it is um, like that cool um, I got a six core because um, I do a lot of uh, photography um, editing and uh, I need a multi-core processor at least faster than my old um, 3770 um, um, i7 processors from a couple generations ago uh, to boost the performance for the Adobe um, applications and this processor should fit the need fairly good and uh, just right out the box it feels um, very hefty it's so much larger than the uh, regular the um, so much larger than the i7 processor, the um, i7, uh, four, I mean quad core processors, and uh, I'm not sure why it it have some scratches already on on the um, on the surface. It might just be like manufacturing marks, but yeah, I'm not sure if you can see there are some marks already, and it's a brand new processor, so not quite sure what's going on there. Um, yes, it is much heavier. I think because of the um, the thick um, metal heat spread that's being installed on top. And of course they have more um, pins than the um, 1150 and 1151 processors. Um, but it looks like that. Okay. And that's a quick unboxing of the i7 um, 6850K processor. Gonna put it back before I install it in a little bit. Packaging is kind of weird because the thing actually sits inside and moves around, uh, not very secure. In comparison, the i7 quad core series processors are um, packaged fairly well. Um, okay, let's get started with the uh, Samsung. I'm wondering how it looks like since I've never seen a M.2 before. So it have a 
faster transfer speed of let me grab a scissor. I have a very fast transfer speed. I think read speed is over 2500 uh, megabytes per second and read is over 1500. Um, it's actually faster than the um, the uh, SSD in the iMac uh, late 2015 um, Retina edition. I think that features a Samsung SM951 um, series of SSDs, which had a little bit slower transfer speed than this one. Um, and this is supposed to be fast. Okay, so it looks like that with the plastic packaging. Um, at least it's easy opening, not like um, some other clamshell designs, which I really hate. Okay. All right, nice. Okay. Um, let's see how we pop it out. Oops. It's already out. <laughs> okay. Very, very tiny. I mean, compared to a standard SSD, uh, which is 2.5 inches. This one is, is super tiny. Okay. Get a close up. Look. Back. Back is very clean. MVM Express and it's made in China. Um, let's get my motherboard out and see how it actually looks on the motherboard. And I just did a unboxing for the uh, for this motherboard. You can check out the videos um, in my channel. Um, so there's a slot for the M.2 and actually I'm just gonna install it right now. Of course, it have a little screw that I think you're supposed to unscrew. Let's see if the screw works. Nope, the smaller screw. Okay, just a second. So, got a little screw to unscrew this little thing. Okay. It's very, uh, it's a very tiny screw with very few threads, but I think you need this to secure it. Um, and you have different holes for different length of uh, M.2 devices. Okay. And I think you install it like a memory. So. Okay, and push it down, and let's see. It's not even aligning. I'm not sure what the problem is. Did I install it wrong? Hmm. Okay. I think the problem is this little screw actually have two screws attached. So I'm supposed to leave that bottom one as a spacer inside and oops and just keep the um the top one over there which means i need a different kind of screw Let's see. so it's kind of tricky and i think i'm not supposed to um when i take it out I'm not supposed to take the entire thing out this thing's supposed to stay in place, but it didn't. I'm not sure if it's quality control issue or what. And I have to very carefully put it back in and secure it. Okay, now I think we can um, sit it nicely on top of that spacer. Yep, like that. 
and use a very very tiny screw to um, to secure it and it's 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 very delicate all right so it is installed like that um, from what I, what I heard the um, the SSD especially uh, m.2s are easily overheated um, I think the best bet might be uh, keep this area have a lot of airflow otherwise the best bet is install a um, additional uh, fan on the side of the case to blow into this area to keep it cool um, but I think that is if you are doing obsessive extensive um, data transfers um, if you're just doing regular daily tasks or playing some games I think you should be totally fine with the install location of the uh, M.2 and particularly for this motherboard it's good they installed it on um, on this area instead of here because um, over here it will be even harder to have proper cooling because um, the GPU is gonna block most of it and it's gonna blow keep keeps blowing hot air onto the SSD so so this is good and uh, that is the unboxing of the um, Samsung 950 Pro M.2 edition uh, SSDs as well as a i7 6850K processor if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to ask me in the comments section otherwise thank you so much for watching